Right, um, I'm going to look at a plant which I haven't done a video on and it's the first time I've grown it this year. It is a stinking hot day and we're not even hit the full effects of the heat wave yet but we'll have a look. So I'm talking about an echium. So when I say I haven't grown it before, I have brought echiums in the past as a sort of a potted plant and I tried them twice and both times they died just I don't think that's position and that is more root disturbance I really don't like their roots being messed with so I managed to get some off uh, Facebook marketplace this year at really good price um, uh, six tray seedlings I think they're only about four or five quid so you know that's pretty good so I've got a couple of trays so these are the, the white flower ones, so snow tower. And I'll put a couple here. You can see it at the back there. There's one there and one here, which are uh, in a very slightly raised area, so it's a bit drier. So that'll give them a good chance over winter so they don't get too damp and rot out. So I'll put a couple there. I've got some over here, they're in, a, in the shade at the moment, but we'll see if the camera adjusts to the, the light. Right, so I did have, well, still have, got a Milianthus major, which really did sort of overtake this area. And I cut it right back to the ground hard. That looked a bit sort of weedy and scruffy, but they're starting to come back now. But so these are more echiums here. So these are actually were the same size as the ones we've just seen, even though they're doubled now. So this is a slightly damper area here, or well, better well watered area, um, and slightly different light conditions. I mean, the ones previous to like the shoe before these ones were. They get full morning sun then shaded in the afternoon where these get shaded in the morning and full afternoon sun. But regardless of that, these are twice the size, sort of looking quite good taken off. So I've actually got four around there right in the deep shade and the one at the front in the sort of more light. So we'll see how they do. I've also got loads that I dotted about in the front garden. <clears throat> Just to experiment, like I said, I've tried them before and they've always died on me. Not necessarily due to positioning, but like I say, due to root disturbance probably. But because these were so small, and they were in a little sort of plug tray, I managed to pop them out and uh, gently plant them up without, well, obviously without any root disturbance because they're growing away nicely now. So that is the main thing. Once they're in position, you cannot move them. They're, they're going to, you'll struggle to, to move one and keep it alive to be honest because they they really are quite fussy when it comes to the root disturbance yeah so this is uh like i say it will be the first year we've actually had success and grown them properly so we'll we'll see how they do so it is one that's on the you know classic sort of tropical look this this for the size of them really they they you know yet they they can get anywhere between, I don't know, 8, 10, 12, 15 foot. But, um, yeah, we'll see how they do. I can't tell you much else about them, because, like I say, this is uh, fairly new to me as well. So, But I believe once you've got, you know, one established, then you'll, you'll have them forever, because obviously they drop seed. Once they do flower, they're sort of biannual or maybe triannual, where they'll flower in the second or third year. Um, yeah, so once they do uh, flower and drop seed, then uh, you'll find them everywhere, which is depending on how you look at it, good or bad. I suppose you can dig them out or thin them out and just keep a couple. Right, so that is uh, the Echium Snow Tower. Thanks for watching.